I think the big difference uh, with Critical Eye, both in Asia and here, was that the peer-to-peer the -peer conversation was very significant. So even the speakers are people like yourselves. Yeah, yeah. So you're, you're in a bunch, it's a club of people, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, like-minded people from different backgrounds, different, different industries, uh, but coming together. So it's not about a lecture that you're listening to, but you're able to share your experiences, hear experiences. So it was a much, much more enriching experience for me than having attended some of the other sort of workshops. That's very good to hear. And that inclusive nature, but also challenging nature, is that that challenge is very, very important. Um, and generally, as as um, board level CEOs, etc., and non-executive directors, that challenge creates a little bit of um, discomfort. But nonetheless, is very, very important. Do you feel you also can get that challenge, but it's in a way that it can develop and move you to the next step and the realization of what might need to be done differently? Well, absolutely. And um, I can even reflect on the last 36 hours and when we sat in groups of six or seven people talking about in, uh, common topics mm. and, and getting different perspectives uh, in a manner in which you actually challenge yourself. That there are notions, there were notions in my head mm -hmm. about certain ideas and hearing other people talk about them. People like ourselves, practitioners. Yeah. These, are not, yeah. these are not professors you're not theorists, these are practitioners who have actually been through those live examples, dealt with it. We heard about the lady who was the board member in Barclays and, and the way she dealt with it. I think it's just the sheer experience lets you go back, think about it for yourself and then shape your own future uh, on the back of that. One of the other important aspects I think is the continuity that these events provide. So it's not a one-off intervention and therefore it's very interesting you talk about this dynamic of something that will materialise do you feel therefore you can come back and will be supported in engaging further on that subject matter at that time when you need to? Do you feel there is that support there? I think uh, the Asia retreat was introductory. Um, I was learning more about critical eye. What's happened over the last 36 hours uh, is actually uh, across various areas I've made networks of people, uh -huh. both with, within Critical Eye but also outside of Critical Eye. Uh, the non-executive directors of UK PLC companies, I met you know, to people who are significant uh, senior leaders in, in their fields. Mm -hmm. And we've agreed to remain in touch. Mm -hmm. We've agreed to connect. And I think that network which is available is going to be the support Definitely. which you talked about. And I know who I can reach out to when I have a particular issue yep. now, which I think is very, very powerful. Given the um, global reach of many of the organizations we, we operate with, Bala, what's, what's been wonderful is, a, is an artifact seeing you and your peers from Asia, um, from the US, come over into, into the UK. That's obviously going to be replayed when we're going to be bringing people over to, to Asia. I'm, as always, very excited about that opportunity and the learnings will be very much mutual, both um, learning and benefiting from that. So I look forward very much to seeing yourself out there, Bala, and us continue this conversation. I have signed up for the uh, Asia April retreat. I'm really looking forward to being part of that. Good, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Indeed.